And this is the Men's College Soccer Review presented by the NSCAA with over 30,000 members at all levels of the game. The NSCAA is the largest soccer coaches organization in the world. Join now, take advantage of exclusive member benefits, and become a better coach today at NSCAA.com. Hello, everybody. As we get ready for the Akron Zips and New Mexico Lobos, we're at First Energy Stadium Cub Cadet Field, and this is the NSCAA Men's College Soccer Review. Hello, everybody. I'm Dean Linky, along with my broadcast partner, Keith Tabatsik. And, Keith, it never gets old coming to Akron. They're the reigning national champs, and they pack this place. Well, they do pack this place, and one of the things about playing at Akron is Akron doesn't lose here very often. 40 games, they've only had two ties, all the rest, 38 wins in them. So that's the big challenge for New Mexico. But, of course, they've had a great start to the season, 4-0-1. Oh, and, and in reality, with the young team and the new players with Akron, this is the first true big test for Akron this year. Well, I think it's worth mentioning those new players. Seven players drafted into MLS, five of the first eight. Yet Caleb Porter just reloads. I'll tell you what, they're going to be good. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it is truly a rebuilding year, but he's probably rebuilding with some pretty good players. <laughs> you know, I think when you win the national championship, it's pretty easy to, you know, attract players to come here. And, you know, we'll certainly see tonight. I know he, you know, certainly feels like he's got a team that's very cohesive, plays very good ball, and as we know from last year, I can just plays beautiful soccer. Well, he's at 93 wins. I know you wanted to talk about a coach who also reached a milestone. Yeah, well, big shout-out to Steve Adler, who uh, from Liberty had the big win this uh, week over UVA, the upset 2-0 in his 100th win, so congratulations, uh, St uh, Steve. We really pre I said Steve. Jeff, sorry, St Steve Adler was uh, probably had 100 wins at, at Marquette, so my bad there, but uh, uh, Jeff, congratulations, and uh, you know many more to you. And by the way, 2-0, a couple goals, and we've seen a lot of goals going on this year. Two players in particular, Macaulay Tulloch, transferred right here from Akron. He has eight goals on the year, leading the nation, tied now with Casey Townsend, who had a hat trick Tuesday when they beat UNBC 4-3 to three in overtime, Maryland. Well, sticking with goals, there are quite a few teams that are scoring three-plus goals a game. Yeah, well, you've got Sacramento State, Coastal Carolina, George Mason, Central Florida, and Maryland, all averaging over three a game, but there's one that's even doing better, Old Dominion, all Always known for the great defending, averaging over four goals a game. All right, Keith, let's take a look now at the NSCAA Continental Tire Top 25. You mentioned Maryland. There they are at number one. Yeah, well, Maryland had a very exciting 4-3 win over UMBC at UMBC, and we'll see UMBC later on in the college package as well. We look down there, Creighton, by the way, you talk about team scoring goals. No one has scored on Creighton yet this year. They're 5-0-0. Oh, oh. Louisville, we see next week at Notre Dame. Saturday, uh, kickoff next week as well. And, of course, that's Florida scoring all those goals, finishing at number 10. And when you flip the chart, Virginia from the ACC comes in at number 12. Yeah, and of course, at number 12 going into the week, we'll see what happens now after their loss to Liberty. You know, Penn State, a 1-0 win over St. Francis, 5-1 for Bob Warming. New Mexico, we said, 4-0-1, having a great start to the year. And VCU, again, uh, you know, still rolling. They did have the, a loss, their first loss to Coastal Carolina. And as you said, at four goals a game, coming in at number 21, there's Old Dominion. Old Dominion, you know, and I think I've heard so many good things about them, you know, and Alan Dawson's squad, again, always known for great defending, but this time scoring a lot of goals. And, you know, a little shout-out to Iona, now getting in receiving votes last week, 4-0, getting into the top 25. And the Buckeyes at number 24. Your top 25 presented by Continental Tire. Continental Tire, innovative technology, driving confidence. Find out more at ContinentalTire.com. And your NSCAA college players of the week presented by Disney Soccer. There it is. An old Dominion star is your men's player of the week. Keith. Yeah, absolutely. Tim Hopkins said from Nottingham, England, two goals and assist and two wins for Old Dominion, both over nationally ranked teams, East Tennessee State and Monmouth. Congratulations to Tim. And on the women's side, Lindsey Taylor getting it done for Stanford. Well, not only getting it done, but in a rematch of last year's title game, one goal, one assist, and their 2-1 win over Notre Dame. Congratulations, Lindsey Taylor. Those are your Disney Soccer NSCAA Players of the Week. And after 110 minutes of play here on the home of the national champion, we've got a tie. Akron won the number four team in the country. New Mexico won the number 16 team in the country. And Keith, when we 
roll to the highlights. This one did not lack for excitement. No, this, this was an excellent game for college soccer. And hit, although this was one of the down spots for Akron, there it was, Mavis, the goalkeeper with a bad touch. Sandoval almost getting on the end of it, but that was actually the save of the game. Chad Barson clearing off the line. Then 37th minute, it's Aiden Quinn with the cross on the corner kick. And that's Michael Bolligan getting his second goal of the year, celebrating for Akron as they go into the half, one nothing. Just several minutes into the second half, this is Darren Maddox, one of the top forwards in the country, getting the best of things here against him. And he takes a swing, and the referee right on top of it, and Darren Maddox is sent off. Akron playing a man down for the rest of the game. And it took till 10 minutes left in the game. Free kick comes in. It's Sandoval keeping alive. Kyle Venter, the center back, going forward, scoring the equalizer. And that's how the game stayed, 1-1. One, one. And it's now Caleb Ford and Akron, 61-0-1 now when they're ahead at halftime. Yeah, that is a big-time tie. And we got more big-time soccer coming your way. The rainy national champion women's team, Notre Dame, is down in Tampa Thursday, September 22nd. And then two days later, the Notre Dame men's team will host Louisville. They lost to Akron in last year's national championship game. More great soccer here as part of the NSCA Game of the Week on Fox Soccer. The NSCAA Men's College Soccer Review Show is presented by the NSCAA. Remind you to go to Kansas City. The NSCAA Convention is. Join us at the 2012 NSCAA Convention in Kansas City, January 11th through 15. Learn, participate, belong with your peers and some of the greatest soccer clinicians in the world. Register right now at nscaaconvention.com.